Hello and welcome to my channel Networking with H. In this session of CCNA series, I'll discuss about IPv6 prefix and how to calculate the same using some examples. Let's see how we can represent the prefix length of an IPv6 address. IPv6 uses a mask concept called the prefix length, similar to IPv4 subnet masks. Similar to the IPv4 prefix style mask, the IPv6 prefix length is written as a slash followed by a decimal number. The prefix length determines defines how many bits of the IPv6 address defines the IPv6 prefix, which is basically the same concept as IPv4 subnet ID. When writing the IPv6 address and the prefix length in documentation, you can choose you can choose to leave a space before the slash or you can or you cannot or you don't need to as shown in the next two examples. Finally, note that the prefix length is the number of bits, so with IPv6, the legal value ranges from 0 to through 128. Let's see how to calculate the IPv6 prefix. With IPv4, you can take an IP address and the associated subnet mask and calculate the subnet ID. With IPv6 subnetting, you can take an IPv6 address and the associated prefix length and the calculate the IPv6 equivalent of the subnet ID, an IPv6 prefix. So finding the IPv6 prefix. In IPv6, a prefix represents a group of IPv6 addresses. Each IPv6 prefix or subnet, if you prefer, has a number that represents the group. As with IPv4, you can start with an IPv6 address and prefix length and find the prefix with the same general rules that you use in IPv4. If the prefix length is slash p, use these rules. Number one, copy the first p bits. Number two, change the rest of the bits to zero. When using a prefix length that happens to be a multiple of four, you do not have to think in terms of bits but in terms of hex digits. A prefix length that is a multiple of four means that each hex digit is either copied or changed to hex zero. Just for completeness, if the prefix length is indeed a multiple of four, like an example with prefix length of 64, the process become as follows. Number one, Step 1. Identify the number of hex digits in the prefix by dividing the prefix length which is in bits by 4. In this case, it looks at the slash 64 prefix length and calculates that the prefix has 16 digits. Step 2. Copy the hex digits determined to be in the prefix as per the first step. Step 2 copies the first 16 digits of the IPv6 address. Step 3. Change the rest of the hex digits to 0 while step 3 records hex zeros for the rest of the digits. After you find the IPv6 prefix, you should also be ready, be ready to abbreviate the IPv6 prefix using the same rules you use to abbreviate IPv6 addresses. However, you should pay extra attention to the end of the prefix because, because it has several octates of all zero values. As a result, the abbreviation typically ends with two colons. Finding the IPv6 prefix from an address or length value. You can see after freezing the first 64 bits, that is the 16 hex decimal values, the result is as follows 2340 colon 0 colon 10 colon 100 double colon slash 64. Let's look at some more difficult IPv6 prefix length. Some prefix lengths make the math to find the prefix very easy. Some mostly easy and some require you to work in binary. For example, consider the following IPv6 address and the prefix length that is slash 56. Because this example uses a slash 56 prefix length, the prefix includes the first 56 bits. Or after dividing it by 4, you can say first 14 complete hex digits of the address, the rest of the hex digits will be 0, resulting in the following prefix. This value can be abbreviated with 4 quartet of all zeros at the end as follows when the prefix length is not a multiple of 16 or 4 it means we have to do some binary calculations 
Let us take an example of slash 63 prefix. This is our IPv6 address and I would like to know the prefix of this address. Where do I start? First, I have to determine in what block my 53rd bit is located. Somewhere in the blue block where we will find the 53rd bit. To know what the prefix is, we will have to calculate those hexadecimal characters to binary. We now have the block that contains the 53rd. This is where the boundary is between the prefix and the host. Resulting prefix ID will be 2001 colon 5000 colon 0 colon 0 colon 0 colon slash 53. That's it for this session. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.